Welcome back to another show, everybody. This is You May Roscoe. I am Roscoe. I'm here with my partner in crime, OG Zoe. Today's show, we're going to be doing a reaction to the song "If I Was Black" by Tom McDonald. Now, I, I was, I was just, I'm actually doing this reaction out of curiosity. Um, I'm uh, slowly becoming a fan of this dude, um, just uh, the artistry of this dude, you know. But um, he, he, he's, he's a very socially conscious person. He speaks about a lot of. Uh, political issues that uh, a lot of people uh, should be concerned about, you know, uh, it tries to open up a lot of eyes, but yeah, no, um, this seems like another song with more uh, socio-political commentary. So I was just interested, you know, to see what this was about. But um, if you've been following me and Zo, you know how we do this, um, you know, for those who don't know, we let the song play. We stop it a few times to give a rebuttal. We get to the end of the song. We give a final analysis and uh, we kiss the babies and we put them to bed. So that's pretty much it. With that being said, I'm gonna let Zoe go ahead and do his thing so we can get into it. If I was black, probably wouldn't with anyone who's white cause that slavery would honestly always be on my mind if I was black. Probably wouldn't ever want to drive because if police pull me over, I might go around and die. <laughs> he gets controversial right out the gate, man. Right out the gate, he's controversial, man. Uh, uh, I'm sure he's gonna he's making a he's making a point out of what he's saying because, uh, of course, every black person doesn't think that way. But, and I'm sure he knows that. So, so I'm just curious to, again to see where this where this is going. But you got any anything you want to add, him? No, I'm just liking the way that Nova brings his uh, his shit to light. Like, no, I'm, like, it's just like you're really there. Like you know, you just you're 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 diving into it deep. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Tom is. Uh, I'm, I'm he's gonna make a statement of some sort. And I'm pretty sure. So I'm oh, looking yeah. what it is. If I was black, I won't lie. I'd be scared to walk at night. The whole neighborhood is tripping like I'm out committing crimes. I'd be pissed at all these cracker rappers singing about my life. Stole my music, stole my style. Give it back, that is mine. If I was black, just look at the facts. We don't stand a chance. One in three is locked away. Over half don't know they dead. See, white privilege and a money thing, but it's white people who are running things. Y'all benefit from your coloring. My pigment produce suffering. It's all white pride, white power, white lies, white houses, white guys, white washing. My brothers, my sisters. My culture while I'm watching. If I was black, I'd probably hate myself. From they say racism made me racist, and I am not the one to blame. Hey, y'all won't say it to my face. In the circles, you feel safe. Y'all been using words they made for us when we were slaves. Hey, hey, wait, whoa. I know that was long ago. If I was black, I'd want my reparation money paid. If I was black, I'd take the police, I'd take the whole clan, I'd put holes in their sheets. Four seconds, though. Uh, yeah, he's uh he's saying some shit. And um this is this is deep right here because this uh, another great conversation starter, you know, a conversation that's been had for a long time, a lot of these conversations, uh, because he's talking about a lot of stuff, but that one thing in particular when he uh spoke about the reparations, man, um again, that that's a that's that's a controversial subject, even within the black community, on on, on whether or not it is a it's even a good idea at this point. And if like, uh, yeah, I like to me, would I like to see something like that happen? Just because um, there's been some other groups who've gotten some reparations, so um, I guess you know. But then what is going to happen with the money is the, is the thing, you know, so, um, but you can go ahead. So what, what, unless you got something. If I was black, I put gold on my teeth. So if you think I'm broke, you will know when I speak. If I was black, it's my face on the tape. Then you know that I'm the one. If I was black, I put If I was black, 
probably wouldn't ever do my taxes why well, support a government to persecute my blackness or pay the wage of law enforcement putting us in caskets or help to build the prisons that we trapped in if I was black, I'd be mad. People glorify the draft while we dying every day, fighting for everything we have. It ain't diamond chains of racks, this is systematic plan. They put us in the ghetto, gave us HIV and crack. If I was black, I'd hate America, appropriate my character, and sell it to Caucasians who wish they were from my area. If I was black, I wouldn't give a f about the greater good. My grandma can't afford a rent, y'all gentrified our neighborhood. Our lives matter, so stupid. Y'all hijacking our movement. Black lives matter, cause we lose. Innocent youth the police shootings If I was black The only role models I'm shown Is the rich black rappers Pushing guns and drugs and hoes Yeah Hey Y'all won't say it to my face In the circles you feel safe Y'all been using words They made for us When we were slaves Hey Hey Wait Whoa I know that was long ago If I was black I'd want my reparation money paid If I was black I'd take the police I'd take the whole clan I'd put hoes in their sheets If I was black I'd put gold on my teeth So if you think I'm broke on a T, R-I-B underneath, on my name next to free, if I was black, I would die in these streets, just for speaking my mind, because I had it. Um, this is, this, this is, this is strong, man. I, I wish this was a, a mainstream song, you know, um, I wish this was, was out there for everybody to hear for real, you know, and I know it's a, it's, you know, he's a big artist. And, and he's independent doing his thing, but um, th I wish this was out there for everybody to hear. I really do. I really do. Just so, just again, so the conversations could be had. Man. But um, anything you want to add, Zo? No, I'm like, I, I like the energy of this song. I mean, I like what he's saying. I like his wordplay, how he puts it all together. The video is cold, like all the little concept of all them. Like, I'll go deeper into it, but when we get to the end, but I like the visuals. All right. Well, we almost at the end, so you could you could let yeah. it. Yeah. Dream, if I was black, you'd attack when I say I'm proud because you're mad that you ain't allowed. If I was black, y'all ever tried to take me down one fist in the air, I would stay my ground. If I was black, I'd take the police, I'd take the whole thing. In their sheets. If I was black, I put gold on my teeth. So if you think I'm broke, you will know when I speak. If I was black, it's my face on a T, RIP underneath, on my name next to free. If I was black, I would die in these streets just for speaking my mind because I had a dream. If I was black. Yeah, shout out to Nova Rockefeller for um, a great video. That was uh, if I was black by Tom McDonald, and that was that was pretty deep right there. Um, again, it just opens up a lot of cans of worms, <laughs> you know. Uh, just just a lot of stuff going on when you think about like um, the fact that you know um, black people have you know our community has been affected by a lot of persecution and a lot of that type of stuff, you know, for a very long time, you know, and some of that stuff is still going on. Um, there is a flip side to that though, you know, um, like, like I think there's some lack of accountability that um, some people in our community have taken because uh, they, they use racism as an excuse, you know, and that that's something that, you um, it happens at, at everywhere, you know, it happens at your workplaces all the time and all that, but it, it's not a, it's not an excuse, you know, because um, it, it's just something to overcome. <laughs> that, 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 that's another one of those things that you overcome. And um, I, I've been, I've been through it, you know what I mean? At jobs where, you know, I've seen some people being um, prejudiced and all this other stuff, but um you know, I couldn't react in no other way but to kind of turn uh, turn the other cheek, basically, and kind of deal with it. And that's what you do when you are grown up, I think, is, um, you know, you deal with people who are different than you see, have different views than you. 
Um, you may not see eye to eye with these people, whatever the, the difference is, if it's color or whatever. Um, you can agree to disagree. You can not place yourself in environments with this person if it's that deep. But um, yeah, no, it, 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 if you need to separate, you can. But, it, it, you know, to when, when you think about like the, the way that it's been forced over the years and all that to lead certain people to think in a certain type of way or to not be able to get beyond the fact that we we dealt with we we dealt with all that shit in the past that we dealt with to get up to get here. Now, how do we go forward, you know, with the knowledge that we got now and all that shit, you know, but uh, so what you got? Um. Yeah, I mean, I agree with it. I think we got to go deeper, though, and be basically, I mean, because it goes into, like, the little things that are already dividing us. We divide ourselves even more. I think to a point, it's kind of like, like you touched on, where it's like, if people are told they got so much against them, often you don't even try because you feel like you've already failed before you've, before you've even started. So... But like you said, you have to work at it. Like there's, there has to be something else behind it. Um, it but it goes deeper with like the government and all that. I mean, it's like George Carlin said when uh, he said something about um, when you know who's in control, um, it's just a big, it's just like a big club and we're not in it. Like <laughs> we're not in it. Like, so it's just like, we have to get over these obstacles ourselves. And once we do, as people will be able to take control of our lives more, you know, you'll have a more of a sense. We could take, I mean, not take over government, but you know, you could have the right way to do things when we're all united, we will be in numbers, you know, it'll, it won't be, we'll be part, we will be the club at that point. We won't be part or we won't be not part of the club that's already there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he touches on a lot of issues. And like you said, I mean, we just need to work at getting better as people and understanding. I think we should celebrate our differences rather than make them such a big deal. Yeah, I think you said the key words, though, understanding. I, I think if we try to if we try to gain uh, understanding of um, the person uh, across from us, per se, you know, um, yeah, I think we like because that's something that I've done when I've when I've run into people who I I have some type of difference with. I try to gain an understanding and get a clarity of where this person is coming from, as opposed to just assuming or taking that initial uh, interaction, yeah. you know, that we had for, you know, to make up that whole person and you know, people are deeper than just that initial time when you run into them and you may have had a bad experience. And um, everybody, I think, is prejudiced on some level, to really be honest. Everybody has prejudice. <laughs> I, I would agree to that. I mean, yeah, the, you but know, that's just, but that's as simple as saying everybody has a preference. You know what I mean? Like yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. There's and, just that innate thing that like you don't really... Yeah. yeah just, and you couldn't hate anybody for having that preference. Now, when you, if you take it to like there's certain social uh, uh, environments that I think you that that kind of thing should be taken away from completely like your job. You know, you shouldn't have to deal with that type of stuff. Yeah. But um, but if you go pretty much in any other environment, though, like. People are going to be who they are in their regular environments, you know, when they not in at work and stuff like that. And, you know, every you're not going to rock with everybody. Regardless, yeah, of you if, don't have to, though. That's the whole thing is that's the great thing. about you don't have to meld in with everybody, but you just need to understand everybody. See, mm -hmm. just take a look. Not even not even walk them on. It. Just. Just yeah, understand it like. Yeah. But you can understand often, somebody else's perspective without weighing on yours. Like you can be like, yeah, I, I, I could see that. But yeah. And, and then just a, just the discrimination, whether it's coming from any direction, because it comes from um, every race, you know, there's prejudices and discriminations that happen, you know, so 
if we if we got beyond like saying uh uh, just looking at a person's skin color and saying, well, I'm not going to deal with that person based off that is so narrow minded. It's, it's beyond me. You know, when you, you, you pretty much cutting yourself off from what could be a great experience with a person, yeah. you know, yeah, and o- o- open your eyes to something new in life. Um, yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover. Right? <laughs> like that, that's one oh one, And I, that's why I don't understand why, like we're getting more into it. Like everybody's their own book and you're supposed to judge them by for how they look. And it's like, why? Why does any of that matter? Let me get to know the person and see if I feel that. And then that's it. And even then we can, we may be able to relate on some work stuff on whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't got to kick it with you to be, you know, so be civil. Like you just need to be civil, understanding. And that's pretty much it, man. You're able to live your own life. When they start interacting with you, and in person on your life, that's when you stand up and you may have to get physical or, or a little more verbal, but it's, I don't know, it's. Yeah, no, it's crazy. But um, yeah, no, Tom, he did, he, he did good with this song, you know, um, it was a good song, great message, um, great t- uh, conversation starter, you know, dinner fodder as, as I like to call, as I like to call it, excuse me, but um. Yeah, I give it my thumbs up just because, you know, we'll get to see what happens from this because I'm sure people will jump in the comment section and have, you know, their perspectives that they want to throw in there. And I'm I'm not even a person that likes to touch on political issues too much because I know all these things create barriers. You know, and people don't know how. That's why we need to make it more comfortable, man. That's that's why it makes it more comfortable, because then people won't shed away from it. Yeah. And then you'll get you'll you'll get what you want at the end. You'll be be unified. Yeah. No. And I want people to feel comfortable in telling me like whatever, you know, I want to know your real truths because I'm going to give you mine. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, no, I, I want to know the real stuff coming from you and your real opinions on how you feel about stuff. You know, and if I don't jive with them, it just is what it is, you know, but um, Zoe said it, we, we, you know, we, we can agree to disagree and keep it pushing. But um, yeah, unless, unless you got something else to add to that, Zoe. No. No. All right. All right, cool. Well, me and Zoe, uh, we gonna get up out of here, but before we do, we like to ask that everybody please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button. While you're on the homepage of You Made Roscoe, please uh, check out the playlist name Reaction Shows to make sure that you're not requesting any songs that have already been reacted to. Um, uh, there's also, uh, you know, while you're on the homepage, make sure you hit the about button. You go below the descriptions. You you'll see the links to all the shows, which includes Zoe's show, um, Unmerciful with Zoe. So get over there, uh, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> you know, hit the no- hit the notification bell. All that stuff I just said. Do all that stuff for Zoe. So um, yeah, get over there in the comment section and suggest songs, all that good stuff too. Um, cause we always look forward to doing just what we're doing now, you know, being able to listen to great music and then chop it up about the great music, you know? So, uh, what, wh- what you got to say, though? Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you said it before, but if you suggest anything on the playlist, did you mention the playlist? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. Okay. I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. comment, subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We out.